In this video, I will compare the Google and the Course Careers Data Analytics Certificates. And this has been a highly requested video, and more and more options are appearing for new data analysts, so I wanted to check them out and compare and see which one is the best. Now, as a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, but I will leave a discount link to each of the courses in the description, which also gives me a small commission, and this also means that I don't really care which one you take. I'm just going to show you the similarities, the differences, and what to actually consider, and I've reviewed literally hundreds of courses at this point and I'll make sure to review this objectively and authentically. So let's begin. Now I've already made detailed videos about these so the focus here is going to be on comparing them but let's just begin with a brief introduction so that we're on the same page. Starting with the Google Data Analytics. Now this one has been around for a long time with over 2 million enrollments and it is 6 months at 10 hours a week and it will cover the basics of data analytics by teaching you each step of the data analytics life cycle. You'll work with the R programming language, get introduced to a little bit of SQL, work with Tableau for visualizations and of course use Google Sheets, their own product, which is similar to Microsoft Excel. It's included in the Coursera Plus subscription, and there are also ways to get it for cheaper, such as by applying for financial aid or just taking a free trial or doing something like that. Now, next up is Course Careers. And this data analytics program takes around 8 to 14 weeks depending on the pace that you complete it at. It is completely self-paced as well, or at least the course aspect is self-paced. And there is also some coaching and some other stuff which we'll cover later as well. Now this one is supposed to teach you enough to give you the basic skills and knowledge to land an entry-level position in data analytics. Now we're also going to talk about how realistic these goals actually are later, but we'll get to that as well. Now just like the Google program, it is completely beginner level, however it does state that it works for people from all backgrounds, whether you're just getting started or you're looking to make a career change. So it really does not matter. Now, if we take a look at the course, we'll see that it's actually very different from the Google one. There are five different modules or courses in this program. The first one is called the Data Analysis Project Lifecycle. And here you'll learn about the basic tasks a data analyst would do. And then we have the next course, which covers Excel, where you'll do all sorts of tasks working with Excel. The next course will cover Tableau, the data visualization software and course number four will cover SQL, another key data analyst skill often seen as one of the most important skills when looking for jobs. And the final course is going to be Python, which is another key skill on the job market. But there's something that we missed, and four out of five of these courses actually contain a portfolio project, which means that you'll put your knowledge together kind of into a final project in each of these courses, and then you can just add this to your portfolio. And this means that after you complete these five courses, you will have four different portfolio projects that you can show to recruiters right away. You will also get access to some coaching. It does not include one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and if you do want that you will have to pay but they do offer weekly group coaching sessions with industry experts as well and now let's move on to some of the differences between these two to kind of give you a good understanding of the differences i'm going to talk about three core areas first we're going to talk about kind of the general differences and then we're going to move over to the skills and finally talk about the portfolio differences. So one of the first differences is actually the instructor. And Google is obviously a very reputable company and they have a ton of skilled individuals that can teach you the right skills that people look for, such as Google. But I wouldn't really say that Course Careers is lacking here either. Funny enough, their instructor is actually called Lucas. This is not me, just a disclaimer, but he is a very well-known instructor in the analytics space. He's actually made one of the top rated and most popular Tableau courses on Udemy with over 70,000 paying learners for just his course. Now I need to warn you that he sometimes sounds a little bit robotic when he speaks, which I would understand for sure, especially in the intro course, but he definitely knows his stuff. He is a very passionate instructor and there is really no question about that. So in Google's course, you'll have different instructors usually for each course. And in this course, you'll only have one instructor, which would be a pro and a con depending on your preference of the instructor, of course. Next, we're gonna talk about the career resources. And these are also really important to keep in mind because the goal is just not to be just learning, right? And I will say that I think Course Careers wins on this one because you get access to a community as well as a lot of resources to kind of prepare for jobs such as resume templates, interview guides, and different checklists. But Coursera actually offers quite a few things too, although most people forget about it. Now, the main benefit of Course Careers compared to Coursera would be their actual coaching sessions. And Coursera does not offer any coaching, which is completely reasonable considering the price. But here you actually get weekly coaching sessions and a community that you can reach out to. And they do kind of create this learners group where you can connect with different coaches, ask them questions, or talk to some other people if you want to. They don't offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, like I said, as that would be super 
super expensive to provide and they would have to raise the price by like 10x but you can also buy that if you do want to have access to that as well. Now let's talk about the skill section and this is going to be very interesting because this really matters when you're picking a course. To determine this I'm going to use a site called Data Nerd, which shows the most in-demand skills based on real job listings because if you want to get a job then you should probably look at the real skills that people are looking for on the job market, right? Now, the most in-demand skills would be SQL, Excel, and followed by Python. For visualization tools, it would be Tableau and Power BI at around the same percent. Now, the Google program covers some Tableau, which is great, and you will use some SQL, which is also fantastic. You will use Google Sheets and not Excel, but they are very similar. And if you learn one, you can just learn the other one. Now, Google does not cover Python, but they do cover R, which is more used in academia and research. And you can still find a lot of great job openings if you know R, although it's not as versatile as Python. But what people often do is they learn Python on the side as well. And that works great too. And after finishing the Google course, you will definitely have a solid skill set. But if you really want to know these skills, you should probably keep learning them anyway. Now for the course careers program, you're going to learn SQL, which is perfect. You will learn Excel, Python and Tableau. And this will actually give you a complete skill set of in-demand skills. But again, let's keep our expectations real. If you want to become a SQL expert or you want to become a Python expert, you will still have to keep studying them outside of this course or supplement with some other things on the side. And both of these programs are good, but they are too short to teach you all of these skills in depth, but it will give you a very nice introduction to each one. It kind of teach you the basics while showing you how to apply it to practical scenarios. Now, the next part is going to be the portfolio. And a portfolio is such a good thing because you can actually show employers that you've been doing something, that you have the skills and that you're qualified, practically representing you because companies will look at your portfolio before they ever decide to meet you. So you better put some energy into it, right? Now, the Google Data Analytics Certificate does come with one final portfolio project. And if you want to learn more or you want to do more projects, you will have to do something on the side. And a good option here is to take the next course, the Advanced Data Analytics Certificate, where you will focus on Python and do some more projects. But you can also find a lot of great projects online for free. And if you just want to get started, you could just go to YouTube or Guided Projects on Coursera and search for some basic projects. Now, Course Careers has four different projects and one for each skill. So so you'll do one project in SQL, one in Python, and one in Tableau, and also one in Excel. That is very convenient, but I'm not going to be too biased here and say that it's the best way or that it's better, because if you do find great projects and you do them, even wherever you find them, it might just be as good or even better. But it is a pretty convenient approach to kind of have it all bundled into the same course and just kind of connect it when you're doing it. And it just depends on what you're doing. Both are great options. Now, if we move over to the actual pricing, there's going to be a pretty big difference here. And the fact is that course careers is way more expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, you also get a lot more stuff. But with Coursera, they do offer some other options like a subscription, a financial aid system and some other things. So just price based. And if you're just focusing on that, Coursera is definitely going to be the cheaper option. But of course, I completely understand that price can also be a deal breaker. It just depends on what you're focusing on here. Now, thanks for watching this video. And I will leave a link to both of the courses where you can try them out for free in the description, as well as any ongoing discounts that I can find. And it is really up to you. Both are great alternatives. It kind of depends on what you prefer. And it's more about what you do with the course rather than what course you actually take. Good luck.